Yo, ready for this? Yo, ready for this? Just wait for a couple more people. And then I'm gonna. Gonna wait for a couple more people. And then I'm gonna do probably a 30 minute uh, doodle. I was watching Bugs Life today. The real Bugs Life on Disney. And they had some cool stuff. You guys want to like and share what you got going on here? Why don't you share what you got, baby? Yeah, going on here. So, fucking totally fell asleep last night. Carol, what's going on, Carol? I'm getting my, I'm getting my wine and my bud ready, and then I'm gonna draw a quick robot for shits and giggles. Though I want no shits nor giggles once I'm finished with this robot. I worked with a lady who fucking hated it when I called robots robots. So guess what I did? Just called them fucking robots the whole time. You know what we need? We need some more. We need some more robots. You saying that? You're saying that on purpose. You're doing that on purpose, Matthew. I don't have any openings or uh, intros to my channel yet. I guess I can go on Fiverr or ask uh, Cider to make me one or two. Mobile Suit Gundam, um, that's fucking complex, dude. I, I'm doing like a half an hour, so um, I'm probably not gonna do anything too crazy. Let's see how high does my shit go? You guys can see up to there, and you can see right about there. Okay. So you know, I talk about fucking bleeding from my uh, my paintings, so. This last painting, I didn't, I didn't bleed on it necessarily, though I, um, I split the fuck out of my thumb. That's not the problem. Who gives a fuck about a split thumb? Yo, look at that motherfucker. Boom! That one fucking, because I, I was, uh, what? Dude, Bagman, thank you so much. Hail, buddy. Hail, buddy. Five bucks? Let me tell you how I burned my arm with a little hot gun. I was drying my painting like a hot, wet summer. And then I touched my arm. I felt it to the core. It lit me up and then it lit me some more. I said, fuck shit. That fucking hurt. I said, God damn, my fucking arm fucking hurts. So I fucking hit my arm. I was like going over the um the painting with this uh heat gun and I fucking hit myself like fucking like a Jedi hitting himself with a fucking lightsaber. That shit cooked my my ass up.
This is pretty cool. Maybe. Did you just hear the barking? So if you can figure it out, I was watching this thing about these jumping spiders. I was like, spiders in the city, but spiders in the big city. I don't recall ever seeing a jumping spider in New York City. They had a jumping spider in the city. In the city. Oh, oh. In the city. Oh, oh. It's survival in the city. Let's fix that asshole. So there was a, a, a massive meeting last night of the fucking CG slum kings, the CG lords. Lord and Lady Slum. And um, I think I might be like probably the newest addition to the slum. So. I actually fucking passed out. The last couple of nights, I was like fucking wide awake for several, like real, you know. Hold on, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to think of joints while I'm talking. My wife is sending me cool pictures of our children downstairs wearing shades. God, I love my kids, man. They're so damn cool. Busters. I think I could play music. So it's last night with slums. <laughs> last night with slums, they were kind of going over the uh, the Vic King thing and replacing the names and like calling it the New Inquisition and um, um. I'm like such a fair, I'm like fairly new to the slums that like, I don't, I don't feel like I have that much say in it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, if they all decide that, Hey, we're going to change the name, as long as it's not changed to like CG cum bucket, then I'm cool with hanging out. You know what I mean? Cause, uh, you know, this guy. This guy, Vic King, fucked it up a little bit for everybody who was in the slums because he was, you know, the king of the slums. I didn't really know him that much. I'm going to smoke some weed for a second. Smoke it if you got it. I'm, I'm like letting this like breathe for a second. Um, Like here's the arm. Here's the arm. 
here's that joint. Let's see this, that joint. There's definitely a, maybe some kind of handle here. Vents, panels. There's a midsection, so you have a top section and a bottom section. Kind of a ballpoint pivot. And then the bottom section is all uh, mechanation, fucking m mobility. That'd be kind of cool because the bottom is like different portion, different portions. Fuck you. Different um, appendages, you know? So maybe if you need to do uh, underwater, you could add some fucking fins. So he has a kind of a crab look. I've been drawing all day. It's like not super fun stuff. So it's nice to just kind of cut loose a little bit with some robots. So just imagine this like robot kind of like jumping, you know. Here's like maybe dirt and stuff. some rubble in the foreground. And there's shit in the background. Some more smoke. Some gunshots going off here. Like he's fighting, like. So, where the fuck was I? I don't know. I'm like, trying to draw robots. Robots, look at how the fucking arms are all like. This one's all like, bump, bump, bump. This one's like, bump, bump. And then a giant. Well, why would it be giant? Maybe it's a uh, um, breacher, a breacher arm. This would be the arm, like if you need to, like come up to a building or a door, and it's hand, and it's and it's locked and shit. You just use this breacher, breacher arm. It's kind of. So yes, yeah, so they had a thing. So I, I, I'd been up the last couple of nights, up late, getting up early. So last night, man, I just fucking, I crashed, and I was like, man, there's some serious stuff going on tonight, honey. I need to, need to make sure I'm on there. And she was like, okay. At like nine o'clock, she was like, hey, she's like, oh yeah, your thing. Mm hmm. I wouldn't have had much to say to me other than like what was already being said. At least in the terms of uh, of the Vic stuff, I I don't I don't think I had anything else to say that wasn't already being said by everybody else there, you know. Um What else? Some fucking dude showed up, was talking some dumb shit. Motherfucker, I wish I was on there. I saw Wiggles kind of giving him some, some fucking 
some heat, but I would have liked to have been on there to give him a little bit of more. On there, turn up the heat a little bit more. Some dude's like, I, he, I mean, he's like, you know, and listen, people go to fucking prison every day, and we need to like, you know, be more aware of, uh, of the situation or something like that. You know, he he's talking about some kind of bullshit. This fucking fat fuck came on and was like talking some crazy shit that sounded like fucking SJW BLM fucking statistics of like, you know, sometimes innocent people go to jail and we don't really know. And it's like, yeah, well, we do know the details of this. We do know uh, what was going on. Right? We do know. So there's no like, and so he's like, well, I don't know the details. So fucking Wiggles like fucking calls it out. I was like, well, Here's the fucking details, bitch. Here's the fucking shit. Here it is. And then and then Dark Gift is like, yeah, I'll fucking send you the uh I'll send you the details. I'll send you all the fucking info. Right? And he's still fucking just like being stupid ass face about it. And and just being, I don't know, contrarian. That's the fucking word for it. Just being a fucking contrarian about it. And it's a fucking it's like a guy, I, it's, he's done his time, right? So it's not like, oh, maybe he did it and maybe he did it. Like the dude fucking creepy deepy did the fucking time. So it's not a matter of like if he did it or not. And um, I didn't spend that much time with him. Uh, I don't, I didn't spend any time with him to be honest with him. Maybe a couple, because he's always streaming. So it's like, all right, man, like you're. You're a fucking comic skate. I'll fucking hang out on your stream a little bit and fucking be supportive. I didn't fucking know any about this shit, dude. Like, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Get the fucking way, dude. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want you near me. So last night on, on you know, so that was basically how I feel about it. And I think what my my thoughts were. Um, verbalized already by other people there that shared them, so I don't feel like I was really missing out on any on anything. I don't think I would have provided anything new. So I think he was like kind of jumping through the fucking uh, battle. But I would have liked to fucking tussle with that fucking dude over that shit. That would have been fun. Just so I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And like, where's your stats? If that's your argument against this dude. Well, I don't know the details. Okay, well, let us tell you the details. Here, we'll show you the details. It's been five minutes. 10 minutes, go over the details, then come back and then fucking uh, try to explain, explain the shit. I don't know. So that's, I think I'm going to put that to sleep. I don't want to fucking talk about that shit anymore.
Oh, um, what else? Without being too weird, look. Here's a little tip from Matt Bar. Okay, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a bong hit for a second. No, I'm not. Here's a little tip. Valentine's Day, Christmas, all those days. They always come every year on the same day. So if you're any kind of fucking genius, or if you're on in fucking Mensa, equate that. Okay? Plan ahead. You got a girlfriend? You got a wife? Valentine's Day comes every year on the same day. Birthdays. Christmas always comes on the same day. So if you show up and you're fucking empty handed, you look like a fucking schmuck. Begging online for money makes you look like a fucking schmuck. Like, you know, like, what's the next thing that's coming up? Think about it. What's the next thing that's coming up in your life? The birthday? What are you doing? Are you playing anything? Have you already made the reservations? Have you made reservations? That's my, that's, you get my point? Christmas comes same day every year. If you're stuck online begging for money, by presents. How fucking smart are you? They were just kind of like thinking about it, like kind of like jumping along, you know? Dumb? Is this dumb? Man, he doesn't hurt. I'm just going to take a bong hit for a second. Move the mic over here. Let that rest. I might even... um. Give this... I got like a sweet... Sweet Kobe. Just kind of knock it down a couple. Knock it down a little bit. Instead of going through the whole rigmarole of getting a piece of fucking facing paper and shit. Just let's off some of that. Matt Barr put this much effort into his comic book pages. Yeah. yeah. This is just fun. How much more time do I got? Okay. Let that cook. Let's let that cook for a second. Yeah, it's all kind of wonky. Um, look at that. I'm like, I like, I like turn from it. I like, I'm like looking at it over here. And then I come over here and I'm looking at it on a screen and I totally turn into a fucking asshole. I'm like, fucking shit's not symmetric. Guns look like fucking shit. Um, totally start talking shit about my stuff. Let's go through the fucking ch -ch 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 chats because you know where it's at. I can't believe we got a $5 one, man. That's dope. I appreciate that, big guy. Ooh, that's not a bad idea. Cider's fantastic. He's a good guy. Look at that guy. Where's your ears? You don't have any. F. 
Pirate Carol. What kind of robot are you going to draw? That's what, this is what I'm drawing right here. Kind of a spider robot. Jumping spider robot with knife hands and nine millimeter uh, side arms, multiple side arms with a uh, breaching arm. And it is skimming along. And it looks like it's got a bottle rocket up its ass. But I was trying to think of that being like a dragging relay but i've i fucked it up <clears throat> i've totally destroyed it call him rubits look at the fucking robot go i wish dude jesus fuck you are correct sir Woo! that mustache and that little thing under your lip makes you look like you're on a list somewhere Built this city. Geek Avenger. A Mecha Donuts over here. Look at this, dude. Holy macadamia. It's fantastic, dude. Can't wait to go downstairs and tell my wife. It's going to mean something. I mean, so. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I don't. Th I, th I don't think Cider makes intros. I think he farms them out. So I would be like, "Hey, Cider, could you be a project manager on a couple of uh, come on, say DC intros? Just good old boys, never meaning no harm." You guys ever seen um, <clears throat> Emin Otter's Jug Bank Christmas? I fucking love that shit, dude. We're closer now than ever before. Oh, like we are. Perhaps we're long lost brothers. There's love in our world. And we're sharing it more. I fucked it up right there. I thought it was like we're sharing it, but it's showing. We even think the same. You know we may be others. Our world says welcome, stranger. Everybody's a friend. We can always use a friend. Favorite stories don't end. Welcome, brother, to our world. Do you got mashed potatoes? Yes, we've got mashed potatoes. Anyways. Uh, Blizzbug. Hell, dog. Yeah, dog. What's up? Mm. I like to stay up, you know, because then it's like I'm able to like Hang out. Oh, is that what it's called now? Fuck. Can't fucking hang out in that, bro. The human slum beam, he liked to call himself. Fuck. Sounds like a good idea. Talk amongst yourselves. I still tried to watch Marvels, and I have not been able to finish it. We can just a man. The river bottom nightmare band. So my little daughter, I was taking her to school and she was a little upset. And so to do something funny, I like made up some lyrics to a fucking song. 
now she cannot listen to that song without saying the lyrics that I sang. And it's like, doo-doo with pee-pee on it on the floor, who poo pooed on the floor. Like, it was like doing like that. You know what I mean? I was like adding, um, you know, who pee-peed on the floor. It was all about poo-poo and pee-pee on the floor, who did it, time to clean it up. And she just thought it was the funniest fucking thing that she had ever heard. So she went from being like poopy pants uh, because I guess if you lead the, the, the line at her school, you get to hold something and you get to squeak it. And so uh, once she held it, she, of course, like didn't want to fucking give it up. So I, pay, I came up to school and she was bent out of shape. I was like, what's happening? She was like, yeah, she wanted the little like monkey squeaky thing. And I was like, uh, okay. <clears throat> so I was like, well, let's get in the car. So I got her in the car. And then she, I was like, well, let's put on your favorite song. Um, which is, uh, it's like her favorite song. And so she'll like listen to it, like several times. So I like played it like twice and she just wasn't breaking the poop. She was just poopy mood, right? So I was like, okay. So then I, I played it again. This is the third time I'm playing the song, right? I just started like making up lyrics about, uh, you know, don't don't get poo-poo on the couch. Poo-poo on the floor is bad. Wait until you get more pee-pee on it. Who's going to clean it up? Daddy's going to have to clean it up. Who did it? Did Doggy do it or did Sissy do it? Right? Because I'm, I'm potty training. The oldest one is potty trade fine because you have to be potty trained to go to preschool, right? So she's legit. She knows what's going on. She knows the deal. But the youngest is like, we're, we're still, if you're a parent, I'm just going to tell you, we're still working with it and you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> like there's like, you know, bleach and um, paper towels just because sometimes she doesn't make it over to the, uh, so I was just making it over to the potty. And there's like little potties in every room. There's a potty in the nursery. There's a potty in the fucking living room. There's a potty up in the fucking... It, there's, there's like little potties everywhere. But sometimes she just make it. So you got to like... Clean it up. But luckily we have hardwood floors. But that's neither here nor there, is it? So... I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. I was... I got fucking high as shit just now i think we were talking about emma daughter and i was talking about my daughter's poopy pants listen to her song made up some lyrics i don't know fuck it <laughs> no i don't bleach my children you shit bag you got to have, you know, you got to, it's cleaning up after them. Yeah, dude, I was just like, totally ranting. It was like, mm, I need to fucking text my fucking guy and be like, that was pretty good. What was that? Oh, yeah, that was called uh, Gorilla Nipples with Sparkles on it. What? Yeah, this is new strain of sativa. It's called Gorilla Nipples with Sparkles. I'm just kidding. I think it was called like cookie dough or fucking Cush County fucking. I don't know. I don't care. He tells me what they are. and I'm just like, brah. Am I going to get lit? Yeah, yeah, you'll get lit. Am I going to get slugs on my head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will I talk about shit and then forget about it while I'm talking about it? Totally. All right, cool, man. Go ahead and hook me up. That's our that's that's my my uh, conversation with my guy. Yeah, yeah, clean up after, man. I love my little peoples. I love my little peoples. Dude, like the amount of 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 patience and kindness and warmth and just like pure like you betcha what you need and that I give my children, it's it's unlimited. It's unlimited. I feel like I'm like a, a short order cook waiter again. And I'm I'm just like, hey, what's going on? I'm just like kind of chilling. Of course, you'll see me like on Twitter. I'll just be like kind of like crouched, chilling, waiting. And they're like either like playing or doing something. I'm just kind of like waiting for them to like, hey, daddy. I'm like, yeah, what is going on? What do you need? I'm not a helicopter dad, but I'm like, I'm like always like right around the corner. 
right there. See, again, I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you got to clean up behind them, you know. They're grimy. Grimy little kids. They don't know the difference between. They don't know. You got to clean up after them. Like, please don't wipe that. You Don't wipe your poop on the wall. I'm not going to go any more of that. You, if you're an adult and you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's a little phase of just like, you know. Anywho, let's draw some robots. Because I have like I have I have two older ones that are you know, ones in her early twenties, ones in her, ones in her, both of them are in their early twenties, I guess. And we don't have any kind of uh, fecal issues. I'm not saying we have fecal issues now. I'm just saying bleach is a good purchase. Um, what's the spray? That, what's that? What's Clorox? Disinfectant? Lysol. Lysol, not Clorox. Clorox is the um, the bleach brand. Lysol, lots of Lysol, and Perel. Now that we have uh, one of them in preschool, lots of fucking Perel. But I don't even know if that works. I mean, we're still Perel on them, but it's like she's already shown up twice with a. <laughs> so I would come back, and I would want to like break that a little bit more. You know, break that. This, what's the rope? I mean, we have robot tanks in um I don't know, a bunch of anime shit's got tanks and stuff in it. Like ant tanks and spider tanks. Yeah, there was a new ninja show on um, HBO. That looked kind of cool. Yo, did I just see Gooch fucking say I had a, a private message? Was that a mosquito? It was a mosquito. It was a mosquito. It's already getting to be that time of year here in Georgia. What do you, how are you saying that? A turpin? You talking about a fucking turtle? The chat is seeing shit. Exploring there. Dude, a dude. So I, um, you know, I did that giant painting downstairs and. <clears throat> Like and share, subscribe. So I did that giant painting downstairs and I had a small little canvas, little four by five canvas that I bought. And um, I set that up for him. Is that corn on the wall? Dude, I went one place in New York City and there was weird shit like all over the walls. I, could, I don't know what it was, but it was really fucking grimy and um there was like puerto ricans with their shirts off like playing pool and doing coke it was fucking it was the weirdest fucking house party i've ever been to felt shady as fuck i was like what the fuck is going on here and like i don't know if it was their place or not but there was like a weird stuff like on the wall like stuff had been like splashed on the wall dude just made me think about that, man. I was like, what the fuck is that on the wall? And I remember like leaning over to my friend, be like, what the fuck is that on the wall, dude? Is that fucking what the fuck is that? Luckily, like the Puerto Ricans who were playing pools doing blow didn't pay attention to us. They were um, I don't know, starting a business or whatever, whatever you do with Coke. But they were over there doing that when we were while we were in the kitchen of this fucking we're anyway in the Bronx. It was interesting. It was an interesting movie. It made me think about that. Corn on the wall. 
El Cornhoyo. Art is art, no matter the medium. Talk about fecal. Yo, bro, what's going on? Hold on. Let me check my shit. That's a fly. That's some sort of a gnat right there flying. Be closer now than ever before. Sometimes I'm like we are. It's... Please don't tell me somebody else has, has a... Oh, word. All right. You betcha, dude. Actually, I'm probably going to be closing up because it's 7.01. And uh, I had about an hour to fuck around and draw this robot. But if you want to hop on and say hello and talk to me, remind me about what I was saying when, when I forgot. I'm like Biden over here. I'm like, eh, what? Corn pop. I'm going to send corn pop the link. He's a bad dude. And that's how I learned about roaches. I like ice cream. Stop the shrinking of my ice cream. Cocaina, man. Cocaina. That shit made me nerd. I don't like it, dude. I mean, it has been... Li Woo! Yo, okay. In Myrtle Beach, in traffic, glance over motherfucking Ric Flair in a convertible Corvette next to me, dude. <laughs> and I look over and like everybody goes, Woo! And he fucking just gives us a thumbs up, dude. He didn't give us a woo back, but he gave us a fucking thumbs up. It was fucking dope as shit. What's going on, dude? I'm good. How are you? I'm just sitting here, and I saw your you're up, and I always start watching it, and I was like, oh, he's going on one of those trips. Okay, all right. Let's, let's, am, I, let's... Am, I, am I just like, <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to smoke some really strong weed, doodle something, then talk and forget what I'm saying as I'm talking. Here we go. <laughs> what's up brother how's it going good man how are you i'm, still I'm good pain. you know what i was thinking the other day um what because you posted that 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 uh comment in the in the uh, on x or twitter whatever you want to call it but Hold on, let me put some headphones on so we don't get any okay go ahead no you posted that comment on on x uh talking about how you're close to what 1000 800 800 or 1000 yeah yeah and i was like and i was like thinking back like i remember when you you did you did your first episode and i was like holy shit he asked me to be on the show oh that's awesome i you know that's amazing and i remember we only had like like so many people on watching us and now yeah. look where you're at man like it's 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 amazing that you've like boomed it's it's got it feel feels good. it feels really good yeah hard work it's definitely hard work it's consistency mm -hmm. and um yeah i appreciate you like being there with me i appreciate like dude there's been multiple times when i've started up like freaking awesome or something else and i'm just like i have no idea if anybody's gonna be there with me you know like i'm gonna just fucking start this shit because i said i would and if anybody's there then they are if they aren't fuck it but you've been there dude and I appreciate yeah. you. I appreciate no, you no. a bunch. It goes both ways, brother. Uh, like since the first time we've met, and when you came on my channel for the interview, I just like I, it was. We had like a lot of laughs. There's a lot of similarities there. A lot of laughs, and uh, yeah, I appreciate Oops. you, brother. And um, I'm just happy for you, man. Like your 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 channel's booming. You're getting a great audience in the chat. You deserve everything uh, that you that you've done here so just keep going brother thank you so. and if you do a background check it's clean <laughs> <laughs> just a full uh, a couple of poopy spots here and there but <laughs> uh no not even dude no i'm yeah, talking about your poopy you're talking about poop earlier i'm like <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. stop taking hits I mean, as I'm I've, got, like, I've been i've got in poopy pants but it's never yeah. got like legal <laughs> you know what i mean yeah uh, i gotta leave a scene um 
Yeah, I got I got I got arrested once, and that wasn't even like, man, what'd you get arrested for? I feel like it's I feel story. like the, yeah, I feel like the 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 convict from fucking Pee Wee Herman, who you know the Pee Wee Herman movie. Yeah, where he's like, what'd you go to prison for? He's like, what? Got a knife? Put out the tag <laughs> off the fucking mattress that says you'll get five years in prison. Well, guess what? I got five years in prison. <laughs> like, that, like that was like the the extent of, of my um, yeah is getting a um, suspended license. No um, kid fiddling. No fucking nothing. Nothing stupid. Nothing fucking, it was just yeah. Nothing you stupid. Got over. No embezzlement. No fucking shenanigans like that. You know. Was it on your show or my show when you told that story? I think it was your show. I think when you told us the story. Because I brought up prison, <laughs> and then you had a story. I think it was you, and then you started talking about how you were working for a was it a printer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you, your license, like, was I think you were going to you were going to pay your license because it was up, and Heck you got no. pulled over. No, I fucking I got the speeding ticket, and I was like, oh shit, I got a speeding ticket, and then I went to Europe. Oh, like a okay. month and a half. Yes, I was right. like, I'll pay that shit when I get back. Yeah, and um, I came back, and within like a month, I got a speeding ticket because I was trying to get to work. That's what it was. And um, and just in like, I because I didn't pay that speeding ticket, they had suspended my license, and that was the catch. So I was like, oh fuck, I got I got a speeding ticket. Sorry about that. My bad. And she was like. Uh huh. Why don't you go ahead and step out of the car? I was like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> uh, Geek Avenger, talk about prison. As long as nobody talks about dropping the soap, it's all good. You know, prison has a great uh, teaching program. They, that's how you get to learn art. You really well there. You do uh, art tattooing, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, are you allowed to tattoo there, though? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Allowed I'm allowed totally. To uh, I'm okay. totally shit. <laughs> Oh like, shit! Oh. So, what's the uh, daily uh, news for Matt Bar? Nothing, man. Um, shit got shit went out. I had to do some some exciting and fun retail uh, resort wear screen printing designs today. So I was like drawing crabs and uh, Adirondack chairs all day. I will not show anybody. I refuse to show anybody or sign that <laughs> shit, but I will sign the checks. Um, I did post something that had like a, like Sasquatch surfing. So I did like a, you know, Bigfoot. It was like Sasquatch surf shack. So that'll get turned into a, a t-shirt design that'll get sold in like a hundred fucking Eagles shops across the East coast. Mm. Um, what else that's pretty much it and then to unwind now i'm just like drawing this robot nice yeah that's what's that's, that's my world right now at least as far as i'm willing to talk about it on on my channel yeah 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 um what game are you playing because i know you sometimes you're doing some Ooh. Gaming um what do you want dude are you pc i'm i, I just switched the pc because um i just find consoles like you're wasting way too much money on consoles right now um and there's no good games out there like the last game i played on console that was really really good was ghost of tsushima uh -huh. i loved i love that game um but yeah i just started doing the pc thing and i'm actually digging it a lot i am <laughs> um i'm playing fucking call of duty I was playing DMZ for a little while, but that started to get a little bit boring. It started mm -hmm. getting a little too easy, so I switched over to just fucking Battle Royale. Call of Duty Battle Royale. And I don't know. I was playing Fortnite a bunch, but I kind of got a little burnt out for a second. I need a new season. Um, and then I've, uh, I've reopened No Man's Sky, and I've like fucked with that a little bit. Oh, well, I but I'm like completely one. fucking lost. I'm so fucking lost in that game right now. That's it's not even funny. Have you ever played No Man's Sky? No, I, I haven't even heard of that. What is that one? 
I mean, it's funny. It's like when the game came out, it was um, a total shitstorm. You know, like half the shit they said that was going to be in the game wasn't. Mm. Um, it was just really like half of the game that they that they had promised, right? I think it came out like 2017, maybe 2016. And it's now they just released another update to it, and it is totally what it was supposed to be originally. I know it, it's taken fucking almost a decade of updates and shit and add-ons for this game, but so it's um, it's a procedural universe. Okay. Uh, so um, there's just thousands. I mean, there's not thousands. There's I think there's fucking millions of stars that you can go to and you can just uh, discover them. You land on it. There's procedurally created uh, life forms on those planets. Right. So each planet has like different shit going on. So you can hit a different you can hit 100 planets and 100 planets will like look differently and they'll like have different animals and shit. Oh, okay. So like, and like technology could be different from one planet to the next and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Well, it's like on one planet, it's like, it's like a desert and it's hot as fuck. And there's like these things oh. growing underground. And then there's these other things that are like floating in the sky and they're like airbag alien looking things. Right. And you're like, all right, this is kind of fucking weird. So you fucking bounce and you hyperspace up into the, the solar system. You open up your, your map. And you look at your star system and then you kind of figure out like where to jump and then you can jump to another another solar system and then kind of explore that and oh it's it's grassy there's trees and then there's these giant fucking rhino looking things and these like little octopus looking fucking monsters like it's it's really cool i mean you have to kind of like get into the aesthetic of it mm -hmm. you know it's very like european you know what I mean? Oh, there's kind of like a, okay. there's kind of like a, a, a cartoony kind of a vibe to everything. If that not mm. not cartoony, but it's stylized. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, it I, I, look, I, it, it, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no I, I hear what you're saying. I'm actually digging it. So, yeah, it's like uh, instead of like like Starfield looks fucking realistic. You know, like um, No Man's Sky just. It doesn't. It looks like it has like an artist artist approach to it. It looks it looks pretty cool. So you can have ships. Then you can um, land on a planet you like, start a base, you start building shit. You can invite friends over. So if I'm building a base, I could tell you what planet I'm on. I could tell you what system I'm on. And then you could like hyper that's hyper, a you massive, know, warp drive that's over a, to uh, me. How many servers would they need for that? Like that's that's a massive Game. it's like, fucking it's dude it is so huge it is so fucking huge and like they're like yeah it'll take hundreds of years for you to like really fucking like explore even like part of the game that's how many stars and shit that you could explore but again it's like you know the once you hit one planet, like there's not like new aliens on each planet you know what i mean there's not like new cultures and shit there's oh like, okay so okay. there's there's thought... you as a human well, there there is like an overarching story of like um, remnants of an ancient alien race. There are other alien races that you're that you're in contact with. So, like, if you go to a the base, you know, if you go to like a, a floating um, space station, like you'll meet other yeah. aliens and shit. So, there, I think there's maybe like four other races that you're that you're cool with. So, you can go to the planets explore build terraform fucking you dude you could like terraform a cavern and then build this fucking dope ass base underground to protect you from like the cold frigid hoth fucking so, atmosphere it's so fucking does, crazy is there a currency or is there just a trading post like how is yeah that like going? as you're like kind of like crafting uh, shit on the planet so you have you'll have something that you can like pull up you can like scan the planet and then you can you can find out that so there is a kind of a currency within the game mm. yeah that sounds cool it sounds like um <clears throat> like that <clears throat> excuse me animated version uh series that um i've been i watched uh vex actually told me to watch it um scavenger's reign 
where they're uh, it's on HBO. Max. Dude, that is the fucking craziest, dopest fucking show I've ever seen, dude. It is so fucking weird. Oh, okay. I love it, dude. Well, we're doing a review. Me and Vex are going to do a review. You like, you know, you're always welcome on my show. So, like, you want to come on and talk about it? Come on, on. Because, like, I, I'm, oh, I'm. Is that you? Okie dokie. Uh, little person. That's a little person, dude. That show, I'm down with, man. I'm a, okay. so we're gonna wrap it up, everybody. I'm gonna yeah. wrap this show up, and then I'm coming. So we're gonna wrap this up. But uh, yo, yep. man, you're you're down. Yeah, I'm totally down, and okay. uh, and I might even watch it again because I watched it, you know, when it came out like a couple weeks ago, and I was like, this is fucking dope as fuck. It's so fucking yeah. weird. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, yeah, dude, I'm down with that. So, uh, you got anything going on? What's your next show? Tonight we're doing Arcane tonight. Oh, uh, word up! The review. Yeah. All right, everybody. Yeah, then... So, uh, swing over Come to um to Gucci's. Yeah. The ten o'clock the arcane tonight. review. Ten o'clock. Yeah. yeah. All right, brother. You Later, take buddy. Go take care of that little one. Yep. I know it's it's bedtime for Bonzos. <laughs> bedtime for Bonzos. All right, guys. So uh, you guys have a good night. Be safe. Be brave. Hail Comicsgate. Boop, 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 boop.